Installing Replay Mod on Minecraft for Pixelmon. So you've clicked on this video so you can set up Replay Mod for Pixelmon. Well today I'll be showing you how to get it and most importantly how to set up FFmpeg. If you don't already have Pixelmon installed with Forge, then please click on one of my two videos here that will explain how to set this up and everything else that you need to do this. This will show you how to set up your Pixelmon mods and a Forge version 1.12.2 and how to create a mods folder. Now you've done this, it's time to download the replay mod. The link will be in the description down below, so make sure you download version 1.12.2, otherwise this won't work with Pixelmon. Google Chrome will warn you about this, just ignore it, click continue and wait for the download to finish. Now all you need to do is search in Windows percent app data percent and it will take you to this folder. You then need to click your .minecraft folder and head to your mods folder that you created using my previous video. Once you've got this open, head to your downloads folder and simply click the replay mod and drag it into here. This is where you'll see your Pixmon mod and if you chose Reforge over Generations you'll see the Nature Compass inside as well. Like I have. This is completed, however you won't be able to render your files until you've completed the final step. Jump down into the description again and click the link for FFmpeg. What this does is allow replay mod to save it as an mp4 or other file types. Clicking the link will take you to this page. It can be a little misleading at first, so don't click the first download as this is a tar file and we don't need that, we want a Windows build. So click the Windows button on the left hand side and then click this link and it will redirect you to this page. Click on this download as you want the 64-bit static download. It will be written like this or somewhat similar in case there's a new update out before you get the chance to download this. But if that does happen and you get confused, just ask me and I can always make a new video on it later on. Google Chrome may pause this download. If it does, just click keep once again and it will continue the download. Now you have a zip file. You need to open this and once you have, copy the file inside and paste it into the C drive just like I have done here. I think this can be put in other paths, however for the next bit you need to change the path to find it and if so you'll need to match that path that you changed it to. But first before doing that we need to rename this file to ffmpeg and delete all the other nonsense at the end. So now we have to tell Windows to find it and to set the path variables. To do this go to start, control panel, then type in system. Click on the top link called edit system environment variables and then click the button here what says environment variables. Now you want to edit the system variables. Click path then click edit. Once this opens you want to click new then type in c colon slash ffmpeg slash bin. I did do a full stop here because I did it wrong just do a slash again at the end. Finally we're ready to go, now all you need to do is play Minecraft and it will start recording and then you can check it out in the footage here and render it. One thing I forgot to mention, due to the drive to catch them all, and that's once you've marked the start and end of your time and your position keyframes and you've clicked the render camera path, you will need to scroll to the bottom and find the empty command box. At this point, minimise Minecraft by pressing start and D together, go back to your C drive and open the FFmpeg folder. Double click the bin folder and right click on ffmpeg.exe. Head to properties and copy and paste the location. Jump back into Minecraft and paste this into the command box. And then add another slash, type in ffmpeg.exe and then render away. If you're confused on how to use a replay mod, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and make a little guide for it. Thank you ever so much for watching. If this helped you out, please subscribe and leave a like down below. And hey, why not just enjoy yourself and create some great Pokemon footage? Thank you ever so much for watching, this is Elwood from Not So Serious Gaming, I hope you have a great morning, evening, night, whatever time of day it is out there for you guys, peace out!